back to my channel if you are new then welcome to my channel it is dead back again with another video for y'all and today is going to be a mini haul and a um like update in my life type of video so without further ado let's go ahead and get started first i'm going to show y'all all of the new beauty products or skincare products that i got if you're a returning subscriber, you know I usually do a opening my package video pretty much like every week or two. I didn't include these um, skincare items because I wanted to do a separate video for that and that's this video. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all the skincare stuff that I have and then after that I'm going to use it and we're going to talk about like what's going on in my life type of thing. Even though y'all really don't care but I'm going to tell you anyway. So first we have a jade roller in this like contour thing um i'm not exactly sure what it's called a geisha i think it says geisha but i know for a fact it's for you to like start contouring your face and this was 5.99 and i got this from burlington these jade rollers i know can get really expensive so i was very shocked to find um both of these together for 5.99 burlington honey burlington so yeah so i have that next is this um blackhead vacuum my friend has this and i just feel like i need this because i got blackheads and i have like dirty pores from wearing makeup so much and stuff so i bought this off amazon i think it was about 20 bucks but i'm gonna have the link for y'all down below next up is this headband which i'm about to put on because the shower i just got the shower and the shower messed up my hair so i'm looking crazy but i got this little um headband which comes in handy when you're also doing your makeup and it keeps your hair back i bought this for 2.99 at burlington and it's cute like it's like a purple color the next big thing is a face steamer oh my gosh i needed this so bad like i needed this so bad so i got a face steamer it also has a little kit on the inside um, i'm not exactly sure what's all in there but i know like some extractor tools and such like that so yeah i got a face steamer i think this was like 38 dollars on amazon so i will have that link below for y'all the next thing is um 24 karat eye mask i've been seeing all the little instagram you know models or whatever use these and i've always like i've been looking so long for something for my like bags and my dark circles i bought some serum but it didn't work so well i don't like the way it feels on my skin so i'm gonna try these hopefully it doesn't like irritate my skin or mess up my skin because i feel like i'm starting to get my skin together but yeah so i bought some of those because i'm trying to get rid of these dark under eyes and these bags next i got some african black soap i've been needing to i've been needing to do this i've been needing to do this so i'm finally glad that i got this i got this on amazon i forgot how much i paid but i will link it below and it's huge like let me open it for y'all it's a huge thing of black soap not a baby a little bit like look at this it's a whole block of african black soap for my dark spots which are um my dark spots are finally like lightening up so i'm trying to keep it that way and make sure they're like gone and i can have clear skin so yeah i got some african black soap so lastly i have some exfoliation gloves and i it comes in a pack of two and i bought these for 3.99 at burlington and these work so good like i opened it already and it came with a purple and a pink pair the purple one, I use it in the shower. I love them, love them, love them, love them. My skin feels so good after. So I have that too. But yeah, that's all the stuff I got. I felt like I really needed to invest into my skin. I am a huge advocate for investing into yourself. I felt like I was buying things like clothes and stuff or whatever, but I wasn't investing into like things that I really wanted to change, like my skin. Like I want my skin to be nice and clear and now i'm kind of like working on my teeth because i've been um doing like the crest strips or whatever but i'm trying to find some more like remedies i can do to get my teeth like super white and all of that but yeah let's go ahead and start opening stuff first thing i'm gonna open is this headband because honey my hair uh-uh first things first school is back in session i am in school i'm in college and we are not going 
Well, my teachers gave me options. I don't know about everybody else, but we're not going back on campus. Like, thank you. Cause I didn't want to. It really wasn't even like a fear of what was going on, you know, with COVID and everything. But it was more so just like, I didn't want to drive and I didn't want to go to campus and I didn't want to sit in the class. Like I would much rather prefer to sit on my sofa and do my work in my lovely house. And so I'm so glad that we are um, all live, but I can't lie to y'all. I absolutely hate school. I hate college. I hate all of it. Like I just hate it. I hate it so much, but I've invested so much into it. Blood, sweat, tears, time, gas, honey, like all of that, that I'm going to go ahead and finish and just see it through um not for nobody else like i don't care what anybody else has to think and i also think that we live in a world nowadays where you don't need college like straight up you don't need college to be successful i know a lot a lot a lot of people out here that are successful and ha don't have a degree didn't go to college dropped out of college whatever so yeah but it's just a simple fact that i have two years left it would be less but i only take a couple of classes a semester just because when I try to force myself to take five and six classes, I just fail because it's, it's too much on me. So I um, I feel like I'm a little slower behind everybody else just because I only take like a couple of classes a semester. And if you know anything about college, you need like 100 and let's say like 40 credits to graduate in each semester. I'm only taking like 10, so do the math. It's taken a long time for me to get done. But yeah, finally, more so in my major. So now I just have my psychology classes. I am in school for psychology. But yeah, I hate it so much. But that's that's what's going on. Another thing what's going on is um, my manifestation book. I brought it in here with me to the bathroom so y'all can see it. It's so cute. I'm going to do a separate video on this if you are interested in manifestation. A lot of people, you know they have their opinions on it either you like it you don't whatever i'm gonna have a separate video for that i highly believe in it and i've been doing it and I, I just feel like it's working slowly but surely i've only been putting two of my goals like down every day and one of them i'm like this close to hitting so i'm definitely gonna do a video on that i feel like once i start seeing that it works because i'm not gonna sit here and tell you to do something or try something knowing that it doesn't work or you know whatever but yeah i highly believe in manifesting so i'm doing that lately i haven't been in a creative mood i highly enjoy painting uh diy stuff like that anything creative like i like to be creative i like to get my hands dirty stuff like that but i haven't been in the mood to do any of that like i haven't painted in so long and it's kind of making me mad because i just like I'm not feeling it and I don't know why. So I told my boyfriend, wow, that was like really stuck in there. I told my boyfriend that we need to sage our house because I feel like there is a lot of procrastination and laziness in the air within this house because when I'm outside, I have a list. Like I'll be like, when I get home, I wanna do this, this, that, that, and that, like a, a whole list for myself. And as soon as I step in this door, like it's something in the air that is just like, I want to sit down. I want to lay down. And I don't like that. I don't like it. I really don't. Oh, and I just feel like we have four months into a new year. Like I don't have time to be chilling, especially if I want to hit goals that again, hit goals that I'm manifesting. So yeah, you got to put work in with that. And I just feel like lately I haven't been putting in my best work or enough work and it's really like getting to me. Yeah, there's this spot in Little Five Points downtown that I wanna say it's like a witch store, but I feel like when you use the word witch, people get scared. So yeah, they sell like books, you know, books and um, crystals. They sell sage. So I wanna go down there to get some sage. And I feel like I need an amethyst crystal for my manifestation book. I um, watch a lot of like spiritual videos on YouTube and stuff like that. And many people have said that they've put crystals on top of their manifestation book, energy, and all that type of stuff. If you're into that stuff, you know what I'm talking about. But if you're not into it, then you're not going to understand. So, yeah, I definitely want um, an amethyst crystal to put on my manifestation book every night so the energy can flow, honey. Gotta flow. So this is the Blackhead Vacuum. It comes with a bunch of little... Um, 
things. I don't know what these are called, but a bunch of little things. I guess if you want to like, wow. I guess if you want to like share it with someone or change them out eventually, they have like extra um, things on it, the top part. And then also it has like a um, USB cable. So I guess it's, um, so I guess it's electric. Oh, it's not dead. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so it got five different, you know, strengths and powers. I pressed it five times and it got five different vi vibrations. So yeah, it also comes with some more of these little um, plastic things. I don't know what you call these, but it comes with some extra. They really hooked you up. They give you a bunch of extra stuff, all for $20. So I want to use the J roller and I know that you have to like, like it's like a certain motion that you have to do, but I also want to use the iPad. So I think I have to do this first and then the iPads, not sure, but yeah. So yeah, I definitely need to sage my house. Thinking of my house, I also am starting to work on my second bedroom, which y'all will see. I just filmed the video, but y'all will see it in a couple of days or so that i just did a project in there so i'm really trying to get that room together it is a creative room so i'm hoping once it's done i will be in there creating because that's the purpose of the room so yeah oh my god this is all cold and stuff it feels nice though i like this i like it a lot don't come for me if I'm not using this right because I didn't watch no videos, no tutorials or nothing on how to use any of these products. I'm just out here winging it. And this is how it looks. There's a lot of them in there, 16 pairs of the 24 karat mask. They look like this, real fancy, real bougie, period. I get kind of scared to put new stuff on my face because I'm just not sure. Like I'm just, I have sensitive skin, so I just, I'm very like hesitant to try new things because I'm scared. I don't want it to mess up my face when I'm already trying to correct it. Like, oh, this is different. I feel weird. It's like slimy. Oh, but it's cute though. Okay, period. <laughs> Pretty much it for the most part about what's going on with me. It's really just trying to get my motivation back, trying to get my um, creativity back. I've been working out. Y'all know I'm on a, you know, weight loss journey. This is trying to get snatched. And my boyfriend, my lovely boyfriend, got me a three month um, free membership at LA Fitness. So I've been doing that. And I'm supposed to, I was supposed to go today. I did it, but tomorrow, tomorrow tomorrow i need to be in there like seriously but i was going every day like once he got the pass and then um and now i've been slacking and i need to get back right real quick so yeah i'm definitely working out again i think i told y'all in my pretty little thing haul that i am going to be doing the chloe ting challenge again and that is true gonna start that along with working out i am doing a 30-day pescatarian challenge for myself uh, my friend is doing it too i just found that out i didn't know she was doing it because talked to my friend about it and she was like oh that sounds cool and then i come to find out that she's actually doing it too so it will be a full 30 days on september 10th i started august 10th I've been eating nothing but shrimp and salmon. Um, I haven't had no crab legs. Like, I need some crab legs. But yeah, I haven't had no crab legs yet. I've just been eating shrimp and salmon. And um, I wish I could do like a what I eat in the day, but I forget to record what I've been eating. So I've been eating like a bunch of salad, um, pizza, a lot of pizza. Shouldn't be, but a lot of pizza. Like today, I had shrimp pizza for um, lunch. But yeah, so pizza, um, I've had some pasta, stuff like that. I had a salmon sandwich, that was really good. And this, honestly, I thought it was gonna be really hard, but I actually really love seafood, so it hasn't been that hard. And I've only craved chicken like one time. And that was just because somebody else had it. 
It comes like this. This is what it looks like. Real cute. It's very light. And you plug it in. And I'm going to... um. It has... It also has like different settings right here. So I'm going to read the instructions real quick. But yeah, working out, being pescatarian. Um, I just ordered a bunch of new nail stuff. Y'all will see that in my next video, I think, which is the opening my packages video. I ordered a lot more nail supplies. But right now, I took my nails off for a couple of days so they can breathe. They're kind of like sore, so I'm just letting them like chill out for a minute. And then I'm going to... Um, then I'm gonna put a new set on. Also supposed to be having another wig review for y'all, but that's, you know what, that's another story. I am gonna have one, but it's not a good one. Like, y'all just wait on it. Now I'm battling the seller. I mean, they're really nice, but it's just the fact that I want my money and I don't want this wig. They sent me a horrible wig, but I'm gonna do a separate video about that as well. Before I return the wig, like I'm gonna let y'all know the real, cause I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, that wig is horrible. Horrible, waste of money. I'm trying to see what's going on with it. Nothing's steaming out yet, but I just plugged it up and turned it on. So hopefully it will start flowing. I don't know, I might've messed this up. But while that is going, I'm gonna take these off so that I can use the, uh, trying to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> y'all see me i'm trying to make sure my face is okay like everything good but yeah while that's going i'm gonna use this thing because i don't want this to be a super lengthy video but i want y'all to clearly see how everything kind of works if you're new to all this skincare stuff like me so i put it on the third one i just the fourth one we're gonna do the fourth one just because i feel like there is a lot of build up um so, ooh, okay. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all. It just feels like a suction. And I'm just like running it down my face where I feel like I have some um, clogged pores. And that's also another thing. I haven't really been in the mood to do my makeup. I feel like it's mostly because like my hair and my nose aren't done and I've been waiting on the freaking wig that we gonna talk about in another video. I've been waiting on that wig for three weeks. So it's really delaying me in my styles, like my looks, like it's delaying my looks because I've been waiting for this wig. And now I have to think of a plan B because I'm overdue on looks. So it is making my face red if y'all see that. It's making it red, it doesn't hurt. It's just making it red because it's suction. Um, I don't see anything coming out as of now. Oh, they're steaming. Okay, the face steamer is steaming. Oh, it's steaming. So yeah, I'm gonna turn it up to the last setting. So I turned it up and I'm just going along my face to try to get all the dirt out. And I see like a little bit, but like nothing's really is coming out. So I'm going to keep doing this, but I want y'all to see this steamer real quick because I don't want this video to be like entirely too long. Like I don't want to do that. Look at my face, it's so red now. But it doesn't hurt, nothing feels wrong. It's just the suction that's making it red like that. So I'm gonna stop doing this for a moment so that I can show you all the steamer. And then after that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and close out because I don't want this video to be super long. This is the steamer and it's on right now. As you can see the light and everything. And it's going, like, it's hot. I feel it steaming, definitely. So what they said to do is take a towel and you're gonna put a towel over your head like while you're under here to allow all that steam to do its job. So for now, I'm gonna cut it off. 
just because I'm not ready to use it, but I wanted to see if it worked and it does. So yeah, I'm excited to try it all out and give it a couple of weeks to see if my skin really does clear up because, oh, one more thing, something new. You guys are gonna see it because I vlogged a little bit of it and everything. I, I did get a new tattoo actually, two new tattoos. One is in the front right here and the other, I'm gonna move my ear is right there. So I did get two new tattoos the other day and I will give y'all a video about that as well. So a lot of new content coming. I'm trying to get back, you know, into YouTuber mode because I haven't been, I just haven't been feeling it. So yeah, definitely coming back and coming back hard with it. And I love you guys. Thank you for listening to me ramble and ramble and ramble. I'll see y'all in my next video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to my channel and turn your post notification bell on. Love you guys. Bye. Oh my gosh, are you supposed to do it like this? Y'all, I think he's supposed to do it like this. Again, don't come for me, I really don't know. But like, this just makes sense. All right, this is a wrap. Mm -hmm.